What if your son argued that we have these evolutionary pressures pointing him towards reproduction, but he's actually happier with the AI companion and um, reproduction isn't on his mind, let's say. Yeah. What would you argue to him? I would say that I would concede an AI companion in a short term could make him much happier than, than a person. A properly configured machine can do whatever you want and will, will never disappoint, will never betray, will never get bored of you and so on. At least in the short term. I would wonder about long term. If my son said that he was going to go to a machine, and this is a, an, an idea adopted, as you all know, from the philosopher Robert Nozick, where it would put him to sleep for the rest of his life. And while he's asleep, he'd have these amazing dreams, these amazing experiences of adventure and love and great kindness and so on. But he'd just be lying there experiencing them. And I said, I don't want you to do that. And he said, Dad, it's, it's even more fun than living a life. I would say we benefit from friction. I mean, friction comes under all sorts of different terms. You know, you're, you're more of a neuroscience guy. You may call it, you know, reinforcement, reinforcement learning. But we benefit from, from trying out things in the world and getting pushback. And that makes us smarter.